So now as we continue our look at the different types of plant cells, we'll entitle this next flowchart plant cells one, two, three. And of course, plant cells are going to be those cells that are highly differentiated. I want to continue driving home this point. Plant cells are specialized. They're differentiated cells, like the parenchyma and colenchyma cells of the previous video and flowchart. The next differentiated plant cell that we'll look at um, is another group of cells called the sclerenchyma. Sclerenchyma cells. So, again, I always like to look at roots of words and understand. I know chyma means infusion, and sclero is a Greek root that would mean hard. So this is a hard infusion of cells. You should already be thinking what type of structure is going to be found here, what type of cell walls specifically. We'll get to that in just a second. So let's look at the basic characteristics of this group of sclerenchyma cells they will have a secondary cell wall. Now this was not seen in the previous sort of uh, parenchyma and colenchyma cells. Here we have a secondary cell wall. That means we have lots of lignin here. Lignin is strong. It's a strengthening polymer. Thus, the secondary cell wall will be very hard and strong. And like I said, sclerenchyma cells are a group of hard cells. And that's because of this secondary cell wall structure that's going to provide a great amount of structural support. So now we're seeing very explicit structural support. We're not looking at the indirect structural support, let's say, of colenchyma glue cells. We're looking at real strong, hard sclerenchyma cells that are actually going to be usually, and this is interesting here, dead at maturity. And now you might be wondering, if they're dead at maturity, what good are they? They're no longer living. How can they provide any sort of uh, protective capabilities or mechanisms? What's going to happen is they're just going to stay there. They're going to stay where they are. They're not going to sort of hinder anything because they're usually going to be, and this is amazing to me, found in parts of plant that is no longer growing. No longer growing. So if this was found in a part of a plant that was growing, it would restrain growth, okay? Because it's going to restrain growth, what we do is we put colenchyma cells there. Colenchyma cells are glue cells. They're adaptable. They're flexible. They don't restrain growth. But let's say something has stopped growing in the plant, a part of it, an organ has stopped growing. You're going to surround that with something very strong known as sclerenchyma cells. So what we want to make sure we understand is that this is not not for this reason above here if these type of cells are not going to be at any growing structure like not at the tips of let's say the shoots and the roots those are constantly growing right shoots slash roots so instead what you're going to be found is within the middle the already established grown parts of the plant will be surrounded with sclerenchyma cells so those are our major characteristics, and sclerenchyma cells can be further broken down into two major types of those cells, and they are as follows. They are sclerid cells, so S-C-L-E-R-E-I-D cells, and they can also be found as fiber cells. So, so, so some cells. Sclerid cells are going to be cells that are short, in their sort of length, and they're also very cubical. They will have thick secondary cell walls. And whenever you think secondary cell wall, you always know that you're talking about lignin. Lignin is a big part of these secondary cell walls. And this is actually going to be, sclerid cells are usually what can what comprises of most mostly comprises nutshells, which are very hard exteriors, right? Things like seed coats. Remember how much we talked about those in angiosperm life cycle? Very important structures, mostly consistent of sclerid cells, and also things like grits. Those grits in pairs, if you ever eat a pear, that's actually mainly a bunch of sclerid cells full of this lignin polymer. Fiber cells are a little bit different. They're also sclerenchyma cell, but they're different because they're actually not short. They're long and slender in their sort of morphology, their shape. They are usually found in bundles together. They are also going to be 
Um, the wood and the bark of flowering plants. Wood plus bark of flowering plants. If the flowering plant does have wood or bark in it. Flowering plants. And they are, of course, going to provide support and protection. Support plus protection. It's a big part of sclerenchyma duty, let's say. Support plus protection for the stem and the roots. For the stem slash roots. And that covers our sclerenchyma cells. Very strong cells, hard infusion. That's what sclerenchyma means. And there are two types to understand. And that is uh, the overall look of sclerenchyma cells.